uh, goes out to E Dud. Uh, I'm doing this system because E Dud inspired me. He just uh, uploaded a system or a video for his uh, audio video system in his house. By the way, this guy's got a really sick Prius. You need to check it out. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Anyway, he did a really cool video on his 5.1 setup. I believe it's 5.1. Anyway, it's AV. Uh, I'm not really an AV guy. I'm a two-channel stereo guy. I like really super, super loud, old-school rock and roll, Van Halen kick drummy type sound. And so that is what this system does uh, really well. So the speakers up front here are Klipsch Forte's original series. Some people, would, I guess, call them Series 1. And they have they are all stock. They I haven't recapped them or anything. In fact, I need to do a video on that because I'm going to tear into those. I paid five hundred dollars for those from the original owner many years ago. I bought this mint 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 uh, Marantz 2250B. Paid way too much for it back in the day, but now it's a good deal. So I paid five hundred for that. Really nice system. Um, it's fifty watts per channel. And as everybody knows with these speakers, these things are super efficient, so this gets really loud. Okay, on top of that, I am running the iFi Audio Zen Blue, which is my current favorite number one go-to uh, Bluetooth receiver. I paid $129 for that. Yes, I did buy that. That was sent to me as a, um, a demo unit, and uh, iFi uh, does not... Uh, promo you stuff that you have to uh, review it and then send it back and so I actually bought that because I fell in love with it. So over here I'm running what was my dream turntable back when I was a teenager was the is the uh, Pioneer PLA 45D. This is a fully automatic Pioneer turntable. I picked this up at a local yard sale for ten dollars. It's in immaculate uh, shape. Um, it did need a new cartridge, so I put an Audio-Technica uh, AT95E on that, which is, you know, a decent cartridge, especially for what I, the vinyl that I spin. So, um, oh, and then I had to put a belt on it. So I'm into, like, the belt, I think, for, like, what, 8 or 12 bucks, something like that, after shipping. So not very much on the turntable. However, I did waste my money on that cork mat. I'm not a fan of that cork mat. I will never do that again, and I'm going to put the original um, rubber mat back on it. Back here for the subwoofer, I am running a Sirwin Vega SLS 15. This is a powered 15 inch subwoofer with a 250 watt amplifier on the back. I input the B channel uh, from the Marantz onto this. So what I can do is just uh, turn it on and off up here at the Marantz. So if I wanna use that, then I will hit speakers A and B. If I want it out, then I will just use speakers A and just play off the clipses. Honestly, these have enough low end in them and I really don't use that sub all that much. And especially when spinning vinyl, it just gets a little crazy. So that's uh, that's a good way to go. I'm into that like 595, I think it was, 550 or 595. Um, if I'm having a party and having people over because my patio is out here, um, I'll open up that window back there and then I'll take my old school uh, Klipsch Heresies. I've had these forever. These are Birch Ply Heresies, and I'll stack them up on top of the Fortes. It brings that sound field up real high and just goes right back there. So all the neighbors know that we are having a party at Breaker Broke's house. And there's nothing better than a little Van Halen one at about 120 dB. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. That's my old school vintage system on the cheap. Just uh, loud and proud, no doubt about it. And uh, I'd like to see your uh, system as well. So please um, take a video of uh, what you guys are running and send me a link. I'll take a look at it. I'll leave the links down below. And uh, we'll just see what, uh, see what people are running out there. I know I'm interested in this stuff, and I hope you are too. All right, thanks for watching.